and a warm welcome to the PSARA Oval, also known as the Saranamuttu Stadium, who will be hosting uh, the first uh, T20 Sri Lanka versus uh, New Zealand. Well, as you see, they have played uh, 10 games. New Zealand have won all 10. We are all set for the toss of this first T20 I between Sri Lanka and New Zealand here at Pisara Oval. I have the two captains with me, Sophie Devine of New Zealand, Chamari Atapattu of Sri Lanka and the ICC match referee Michelle Pereira as well as the standby umpire Susanta Disanayaka. The home team captain Chamari will now spin the coin. Tails is the call. Tails is New Zealand have won the toss. Sophie, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a bow first today. Well, uh, Sri Lanka Chamari Atabatu, of course, are leading the way. Guru Ratna, Samar Vikrama. For New Zealand, uh, we have a Bernadine Bates, uh, Kerr, Divine, the captain, Green, Plima, Holiday. A wicket first up for Eden Carson. She's gone through Chamari Atabatu into the left hand you could see very wide just went straight through with the arm no turn at all that sort of skidded on to uh, Chamari Atapatu and that's not to uh, put the pressure on these uh, young Sri Lankan batters in the air but finds the gap and it's run away for four Vishmi Gunaratna Well, uh, looking to be aggressive, drags it on the onside, passed at the mid on fielder, picks up a boundary. Bowlers. <laughs> Sophie Devine coming in with a slow medium pace. Uh, she'll get a boundary. I wish me Gunaratna. That's a good shot. The main target would have been to get rid of Chamber Water, but they did have a wonderful shot. She got some glove on it. That's uh, Vishmi's. All these uh, three heat T20Is will be played on this same venue. Beautifully played by uh, Vishmi Gunaratna. Oh well for a long time. That's yes. his goal. In the end, this time, as we spoke about, spinners will have a big say, slowing things down. And in the end, first over, breaks this partnership. Vishmi Gunaratna tried to work it towards the leg side, should have played it uh, on the off. Summer Vikraman. Oh, once again trying to be too cheeky. That long outside her crease and she was a little bit uh, surprised by that decision. Here's the replay here. But it might have been another fell day again. But that's a good shot though. Pierces the gap, uh, Hansika, Karna Ratna. Important boundary for herself. We could have Chami Atapatu in for her third over now. <laughs> and another straight one gets another wicket, Aiden Carson. That ball's working magic for her today. Healers uh, for the Sri Lankans uh, so far. Got Chamari Atapatu, the very first ball of the match. Now coming in for a new spell. Strikes again. Hasn't really uh, built on that uh, talent and uh, skill so far. Gets away quickly with a boundary. So starts off her innings uh, in style. Difficult to get away, particularly when she's bowling so well. That's nicely played by Nilakshi De Silva. So I think it's important. She has that score in the uh, scorecard and this time probably trying to go over mid-off. The option was right, the boundary was inviting, but in the end, just managed to squeeze it to the middle of fielder. Uh, definitely, as I said, invitation was there, just couldn't get the elevation or the power to uh, elate that uh, middle of fielder. Magnificent record, but unfortunately unable to break <coughs> into the side until now. Big appeal. An umpire gives her out. That's the end of Kavisha Dilhari. Most of the time, umpires would be tempted to rule uh, any batter out. There you go, taking a replay there. That's a goner for me. Definitely, probably hitting the middle on this uh, Sri Lankan batting lineup. That's really nicely played by Oshadi Rana Singha. Once again, massive gap. There's been a, a whole cascade of wickets. That's a good stroke from Manushka Sanjeevani. Side. 
um, in terms of Oshadi Ram Singh. Huh? Premeditated, but she gets uh, the boundary to that 120 mark. Oh! And that's gone. For the umpire. Yeah, she hesitated, Anushka Sanjeevani. That probably brought the down. Oh, Gets bad on it that time, and they. Oh, that's a that's a fantastic direct hit from Amelia Kerr. Doubt about where that ball was headed. Yeah, great work from Melika. Deshika Prabodini. She had to take that single. Not out in the end. Outside edge, running down, crucial boundary for Sri Lanka of uh, Oshadi Ranasinghe's bat. Ball. Udeshika Prabodhini. That goes straight up. Yeah. Kerr is right under it. She's not going to drop that one. So here's the batting card. Vishmi Guru Ratna, 26, the uh, highest run scorer. Here's the bowlers. I think uh, the spinners, Eden Carson, Lee Kasparek. And Amelia Kerr. Susie Bates, of course, uh, we know what she's capable of. Tremendous uh, player. So much experience. Piece of a misfield. Oh, that's in there. Opportunity. And she's uh, got the wicket. Just like the White Ferns, Sri Lanka bringing the changes in the power play. Good shot. Good shot. And bisecting that gap, square leg was up in the circle. Those two fielders saving the boundary was at uh, long on and mid wicket. It's down. You know, she Fernando played the third ODI. That's a brilliant shot from Susie Bates. She finds the boundary. Around a long time. And, uh, you know, I think you would count her as an experienced player as well. Pulls that one hard, beautifully struck there again. Definitely the next in line to take over the leadership also, I think, uh, for the White Ferns. And chops that away, uh, again dropping short and, uh, and that's... Good start for Kavisha Dilhari, ruined by that last delivery. They certainly have produced many good cricketers. This is a good shot. Found that gap through car point. Wasn't that much. Pressure here in a situation that doesn't have much. I recommend the bowling. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Short bit wicket feeler. For a moment, I thought uh, it evaded her, but in the end, it was struck well by Amelia Kerr, just finding the fielder, and she flew to her left. No catch like that. Um, uh, my instinct was the same as yours. I thought that was definitely past the fielder, uh, but she managed to hurl herself uh, um, towards it and took it um, with relative comfort, it seems, and to what should be um, a victory. Skalik Fielder and brilliantly caught. Two wickets in this over, just what the doctor ordered for Sri Lanka. They needed wickets to stay in the game. And two big wickets of Amelia Kerr first. And now, skipper Sophie Devine gone without scoring. The, the, the first one because it took a long time to get to her. She had to cite it. She had to cite it off the off a very uh, difficult background, and then um, and then take it on the boundary. Uh, it was less an instinctive catch and more one where she had time to think about it. But she uh, she took it um, again comfortably. And now the White Ferns, having lost two, um, divine uh, gone for a duck with the right ball. Shot this time. Bounce stand up. Find that gap between Squire again uh, mid wicket. This is and uh, you know she Fernando. She's bowled well. <laughs> oh, that's close. That's close. That's out. That's out uh, from here. We thought that was a uh, straight enough. She's uh, bowled really well. You know she Fernando. She's uh, been very active, very vibrant, and uh, bit of a turn. Beat the inside part of the bat. Uh, struck the uh, front pad and uh, probably. That would have been a cl clipping those uh, stumps, clicking the uh, leg stump and umpire Chamara, so he just thought so. Raises his uh, finger. Maddie Green has to depart uh, for just a uh, five. Sri Lanka have uh, picked up another wicket. It's 77 for four. It's full on them for a long time. 
down the track and that's lofted over the infield a couple of bounces just a single bounce comes down the track straight over the bowler's head v area you know you um that um that players from new zealand <laughs> tend to do it's a big appeal and this one is given kavisha dilhari tree here but kavisha dilhari will definitely remember that wicket it's a it's an important one or it's a, it's a big one it's yes, certainly andrew she's uh, troubled both batters in this over a couple of times they were beaten in the flight hit on the pads and this time Susie Bates trying to work it towards the mid on missed it completely. They've they've got they've won here the last two times they've played. That's a that's a quick single and if she had hit maybe uh Georgia Plymouth would have been in trouble there, but uh it, it, you know it was a quick single to uh to mid off. Winning by uh, five wickets it has uh, been a closer game than we uh, thought, so Sri Lanka just making that a hundred and uh, Six for nine in their allotted 20 overs, and uh, New Zealand have uh, got their uh, in 18.5 uh, overs. So it yeah, hasn't been easy for them. The batting card, and there you go, Bernadine. She was out early for four. Then uh, Susie Bates and uh, Amelia Kerr, that uh, partnership of uh, 65. And the bowling card for Sri Lanka, Inoshi Fernando, the standout there with uh, three for 17. With Ashika Prabodhani and Kavisha Dilhari getting a, a late wicket as well. The other, the, you know, they're the two other wicket takers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are all set for the post-match presentation of this first T20 game between Sri Lanka women and New Zealand women. First, I would like to speak to the losing captain, Shamari Atapattu of Sri Lanka. Shamari, hard game. Where do you think uh, Sri Lanka lost the game? Actually, we lost 20-25 uh, runs. Especially, I got out in first first ball, and our batting lineups a little bit struggle. But uh, I'm really happy about our bowling uh, bowling unit. They done done really good today. Next, uh, we would like to speak to the New Zealand women captain Sophie Devine. Sophie, congrats on the win. How was uh, the performance of uh, the bowlers and the batters? Yeah, I think this is, this is probably the conditions we were expecting coming to Sri Lanka, spin friendly. So spinners did a great job to be able to restrict them to 105. And then batters probably lost a few too many wickets, but the way Susie held the, held the batting innings together was really pleasing. We would like to invite Executive Committee Member of Sri Lanka Cricket, Mr. Marlon Ranasinghe, to present the Player of the Match Award for capturing one wicket with two overs and then playing a match-winning knock of 44 runs Player of the match for the first T20I, Susie Bates of New Zealand. Susie, would like to have a word or two with you. What do you make of uh, the team's performance today? Yeah, I'm really pleased to get the win in the first match. Conditions were very different to goal, so we talked about having to adapt to those and obviously lots of spin bowling. Um, but yeah, I thought with the ball um, we were much better than we have been so far as a collective and then with the bat it was just making sure that once a batter got in that we finished off the game, which disappointing to get out at the end, but once you sit on that wicket you kind of have to stay in and, and make the most of it. Over Sri Lanka in this uh, first game. Once again, Sri Lanka put into bad mid just 106 for 9. Vishmi Gunaratna 26, uh, Oshadi uh, uh, Ranasing and Anushika contributing 18 each. Amalika was a standout 2 for 18 of her 4 was Eden Carson 2 for 20. So, so far, the tally Sri Lanka versus New Zealand uh, T20 internationals uh, for the women's teams.